Hi and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be creating this business card mock-up in Photoshop and we're going to do it all from scratch. So to get started I pulled this image off of a free stock image website which is right here and I'll leave the link um, in the video description of where you can pick it up and you'll have to create a free membership in order to get it but everything's free so once you get to this page all I do is click on the image and now this is the full high resolution high resolution image and I'm just gonna click and I'm gonna drag it right into Photoshop so here's my blank slate that I'm working with so as you could tell from the mock-up I have the back of the business card right here and I have the front of the business card right here and both of them are gonna be smart objects so we'll be able to go in and edit them at any point in time after they're applied. So we're going to begin by making the back business card first. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool over here. You can also get it by hitting M on your keyboard. And I want this to be white, so I'm just going to switch these two because the top color right here will be the color that my rectangle comes out in. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle just like that. And now over here in my layers palette, I'm going to right click and choose convert to smart object. And it's really important that right after you make your rectangle, you convert it to a smart object. You need to do this before you do any kind of transformations of the shape. So now that we've got our smart object, I'm going to go command T so I can free transform this. I'm going to right click and choose distort. I'm actually going to get in here pretty close. I'm hitting Command plus on my keyboard, or you can hit Control plus if you're on a PC, just to get in really close. I've got my space bar um, pressed down to navigate with the hand tool. And I'm just going to grab this corner and match it up to this corner in the photograph. I'm going to do that with each one of these corners. And this is the distort feature. Okay, so this one is hidden behind the stack of cards, so I'm just going to kind of judge where it is. Okay, and then I'm going to hit enter once I'm, I'm good with it. So now I'm going to set this opacity to, let's do 50%. So I can just see the stack of paper. Actually, let's make it a little less so it's easier to see. I'm going to do 30%. Okay, so now I need to apply a mask right here because we don't want our image going into the stack of cards because we want it to be believable. So I'm going to apply a layer mask on this and to do this I'm just going to click this little icon down here and now I'm going to grab my lasso tool and make sure it's the polygonal lasso tool. You don't want to use um, just the freeform lasso tool or the magnetic one. So with that I'm just going to click right here I'm going to click right here and just make sure that whole corner is covered up and I'm going to make sure black is my background color and I'm going to hit command delete on a Mac or control backspace on a PC and now it's masked and I'm going to reset this opacity to 100% okay so now we've got our card right here and in order for the kind of shadows to sh that you can see if I turn this off you can see there's a nice shadow right here in order for that to show up on our mock-up, I need to change this layer's blend mode to multiply, so I'm going to do that right here. And now I'm going to double click on this smart object, and that, I just hit OK here, that will open up the shape because we made a smart object of the rectangle before we added any transformations. That's why this isn't uh, a distorted rectangle. That's why we get to mess with this. It's a lot easier for mock-up purposes. So now that we have this rectangle right here, I'm going to bring in my art and this is going to be the back stationary. So I'm just going to drag it in here and command T to free transform it. I'm just going to scale it down so it fits the shape. Okay, and now I'm going to save this by hitting command S or control S on a PC. I'm going to close out of this and now if I go into my mock-up you'll see it's right here and if I get in really close you can see my edges aren't totally perfect which is absolutely fine 
I'm just going to free transform this again by hitting Command T and choosing Distort again. It's a little more difficult after it's already been distorted, but totally possible to get it right. Okay, so that looks pretty good. All right, let's move on to the top of the card. So this one, we're going to do the same way that we just did the back of the card. So I'm going to start with doing a rectangle. I'm just going to draw it out and then right click, convert to smart object, command T or control T, right click, distort, zoom in and start pulling my corners. Once again, I'm holding the space bar whenever I need the hand tool to kind of navigate around. Okay. And now I'm going to set the blend mode to multiply like we did before. I don't need any layer mask on here because I don't have any edges that I don't want seen. So I can just double click on my smart object. And now I've got the rectangle again. And let me grab the front of my business card. I'm just going to drag it in. And command T or control T for free transform. Let me scale this down again. And now I'm going to hit save, command S or control S, close out of this. Let's go back to the mock-up. And you can see I had a black bar up here, but now it's not showing up here. So I need to knock it down just a little bit more. So I'm going to double click on my smart object, which is the really nice thing about smart objects. And I'm going to bring it down a little. So now you can see I've got this black bar up at the top like I want. Save it again. And now you can see I've got my black bar right there. And let me just show that one more time with a smart object. You can go in and edit it after it's already been transformed. So I'm going to double click on the back and say, instead of wanting a gray back on here, maybe I want a light blue back. So I'm just going to go into my background color choose a light blue. Actually, let's make it a little darker so the white will show up. And just, I'm hitting Command Delete. And then if I hit Save, now it changes it right here. So it's that easy and I'll leave all the links where you can grab these business card files if you want to use them and as well as this free image. And thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe.